Yes, of course. Welcome to another video. And I'm back down on the allotment plot. It's 21 degrees. We're in early October. The sun is shining. I've been ill for about three or four days. So I've been out of the allotment game. I've just come back here for the first time. And this morning, as I was walking the dogs, look, I saw these at the side of the road. Come and have a look. Can you believe people just chuck this stuff out? One man's rubbish is another man's gold, as they say. And now I picked up some extra pots for doing some container gardening in my greenhouse over winter. I've been quite ill the past few days. I've had like, well, Sarah said it was just like, I don't know, like man flu or something, but I thought it was more serious. It's been all over the place and I've been really meaning to come down here and do some more YouTube videos because I've got loads of things going on in my mind that I just want to share on the channel. I just couldn't bring myself to come down. So I could hardly string two words together. I don't normally show other people's allotment plots on my channel, but look at this. Wow, that is some serious timber going on there. I love to see some good timber, don't you? It's great when someone takes over an allotment plot and really gets stuck in and I tell you, that looks like I'll be there in the next 20, 30 years, that timber will. But yeah, let's take these containers over to Green Acres. So we just have a little look, see what's going on. Get this out. Just before I got ill, I took down the beans and look how much extra space I've now got on my allotment plot. It's funny, isn't it? Those beans are up there for so many months and you get used to seeing them and then when they come down, it's a bit, it's a bit scary, isn't it really? Because I didn't realise how big this allotment plot was. I don't know, things that go through your head when you've got an allotment plot, eh? It doesn't stop, does it? The excitement, the planning. Oh, there's so much going on at the moment. I've got so many jobs that I've half started. I don't even know where to put myself. I've actually brought you down here with a purpose today. I'll take you down to show you Oaklands, which is what video's all about, really. I'm going through one of them stages, aren't I, where so many ideas are flowing and I want to make so many changes. And I've got everything that I've put in here has just been decimated. It's all been eaten. And everything that I put under this makeshift netting has pretty much been eaten as well. I don't know, I'm not sure about this winter, autumn, winter gardening, you know. I get a bit confused as well as to why I'm actually covering them over. I suppose I'm stopping pigeons, aren't I? But then there's also slugs as well. And then that means I have to buy slug pellets and... Is it right or wrong to put pellets down? I don't know, a lot of people don't like using slug pellets and then other people just throw them around like confetti. I don't really want to use them. I don't really want to harm anything, so I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments below for some good ways to sort of get rid of slugs, but I don't know, I'm kind of thinking to myself, should I get into the polytunnel and just put that there? I think I've put together here an allotment plot that will only take 10 minutes a week to maintain. Put these wooden little fence things at the front and then I put some wood chips all the way down the middle of the allotment and I've popped in some string either side just so I can clearly see where the path is and where the path is and, and you know what? Just as I, was, as I was looking straight down the barrel of me wood chip pathway I've seen what Come and look at this. Look at these. Blimey. I mean, I don't, I don't know much about this sort of stuff, but if anybody does, let me know in the comments below if these are useful for anything. I'm not sure. Interesting. But yeah, so. I've created a path all the way down the middle and something else is striking. Look at these footprints right down this pathway. I don't know if any of you guys get that sort of stuff on your allotment plot. Also hit some comments up if you do because look, to me that looks like there's been a deer or something. I 
don't know. You just never know, do you, what's coming down the allotment plot when you're not here. Oh God, it's exciting, isn't it? But yes, yeah, so I've come down to the, the base of the allotment um, and I haven't really done what I was said I was going to do, which was give you a tour of what I've planted. So let's just quickly wander back up to the top and I'll show you. So really what I was trying to do with this allotment plot was keep it simple and keep it in a position where I don't really have to do too much because I like spending more of my time over on my other bigger allotment plot where I practice growing loads of different things and pro and those crops probably need more maintenance than what I've planted here and I like to tinker around and do more of my sort of allotment stuff up there so when I took this one over I thought I wanted to try and keep it as low key as low maintenance as possible and just come down every now and again and just check that everything's okay and it doesn't get overloaded with weeds or anything like that so this side of the allotment plot on a previous video you'll have seen I planted onions all the way down here and this is quite a big stretch to plant onions you know I planted the variety called Senshi onions are so easy to look after you don't really have to do anything they just kind of look after themselves don't they planted more onions down here as well of a different variety and this variety is called autumn champion onions in there and onions in there and as we come further down and here we've got a variety called red winter Okay, so these are red onions that are coming down here. Now if I just spin you around to this area here. Here I've planted garlic. Garsua. Oh, I'll have to check. I'm not sure. I've, got, I've still got the packet, which is a bit of a surprise because I normally just throw everything away. But yeah, so I've got garlic in these sections. And then I took two sprout plants from my other allotment plot and just dropped them in at the end here. To tell you the truth, I wasn't certain how long these would stay. I mean, that looks a bit floppy anyway, but I thought they might get eaten. But well, let's just give them a little bit of a go because I've got some extra sprout plants. And they do look nice and green, don't they? And I just wonder whether we'll have any luck with these under the shelter of the rather large oak tree. Just need to really come down here once a week for 10 minutes and just do some weeding and the weeding's going to be pretty simple there are little areas of this allotment plot where grass seems to come through and then really it's just picking up these bits of tree from the oak tree other than that this allotment it's not going to take much looking after at all. What a view you've got at the back of this allotment plot. It's a pity it's all hedged over and you can't really sort of make a seating area to look out there. But the sheep are grazing out there. The sun's shining. Sort of early to mid-October. It's just, it is fantastic. We've got this shelter built here as well, which my dad really built. I just screwed some of it together just to finish it all off. And I can definitely come sitting down here in the winter time. I suppose if there's anybody out there that's lost the plot with allotments in, if you pardon the pun, and just can't be bothered, or things change, don't they? You know, times change. Maybe you've got an allotment plot, but things have changed at work, your health's changed, you just don't have time to, to do it, or perhaps you need a bit of a break from it, but you don't actually want to give the plot up, then this could definitely be something that you could do. Hasn't been dug over at all. All I've literally done is just raked over the top, weeded what I could, and then planted the onions and garlic straight in. I like what I've done here, I must admit. And I don't often blow my own trumpet, but it's simple. It hasn't cost me anything apart from the onion sets. And the garlic cloves. Two garlic cloves came in the packet and I just split them up and planted them. So it hasn't really cost me anything and I've just used string to define where the beds go and just use the wood chipping that we get for free over there. So the actual plot hasn't really cost me anything. All the wood came out of a skip that some guy was throwing away in a house opposite me. I hope that video has been of some use to someone 
maybe you might have found value out of it. Maybe I might have given you some ideas to think, do you know what? Graham's not done a bad thing there, has he? I finally feel like I've got some closure on this now. It's ready. It's ready for autumn. It's ready for winter. It's ready for whatever the elements throw at it over the next six months. But yeah, I just wanted to come down today, share with you what I've done on the allotment plot. I hope it's given you some inspiration if you want a low maintenance allotment plot. This is the sort of thing you could do. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.